thanks for tuning into Beanie TV where I offer you sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. How is everyone doing? So I have been pursuing acting in Los Angeles for coming on three years next month. And um, it has been a really wonderful experience to see how my life has been able to expand as an actor by taking a leap of faith and moving from New York and New Jersey and from working in the fashion industry to saying, you know what, I'm going to do what I've been purposed to do. And it's been a really great experience. You'll see from my other videos, you know, last year I booked a national Panera Bread commercial. And I was also in the last season of Shameless. So we're doing big things, big things. So I'm just, you know, thankful for the creator for just like co-creating with me. And um, yeah, so a lot of people ask me advice about being an actor. So that's what this video is about. How to get an agent, how to get an agent. Now, first and foremost, I will say that it is not imperative um, in the beginning of your career to get an agent. What you want to do is you want to build up your resume. So when I was in New York, I was doing extra work. I did extra work on HBO's Girls. I did that was like my first time being on TV. Like, and you could see me in the corner, and my mom was like screaming, freaking out. Season one, um, I've done uh, extra work for Smash, extra work for um, random movies, extra work for uh, and uh, CI. What is it called? Um, Law and Order SVU, whichever one Ice T is on. Like we, I did that, and um, yeah, just so that I can experience. Cause I, you know, other than that, like I didn't have any acting experience. So, you know, in order to understand how you like it on set, to understand how the camera works, like I love everything about watching um, all of the people behind the scenes, the way that they work, that is like the magic of film and television that, you know, most of us don't get to see. So I cherish those moments anytime I'm on set and I get to like see everyone working on the camera stuff and everything like that. But, um, okay, how to get an agent. Again, make sure that you are, you got something on your resume, right? Make sure to take classes and, um... Um, do student films. I didn't do student films. I just have never been attracted to being on student films. I don't know why. Um, but make sure that your resume has something on it before you start submitting yourself to agents. Also, when you... Uh, okay, so in LA, and I think in New York, it's called uh, the Samuel French book Bookstore. Samuel French Bookstore. And I got this back in 2014 when I moved out here. So this is the June 2014 a edition of Actors Guide to Agents. West Coast. Get it at the Samuel French bookstore. I don't remember. Oh, it was $12.95. And this has all of the reputable agents in Los Angeles that specialize in television, also known as theatrical. So they specialize in theatrical. They specialize in print. There's agents in here that are solely for children or that only do athletes so you go through you purchase this book you go through it and you find the agents that correlate with what you are looking for i was looking for everything so i emailed 60 agents now what i did was thanks to my acting coach out here um she taught me to how to construct my email so you know you say like you give yourself a little pitch saying you know hey give yourself something interesting you say so hey i'm Da -da -da -da. I'm from da -da -da -da, and I moved out here to pursue a career in acting. I recently booked. I'm recently taking classes at. I'm I'm um, developing a web series. Whatever is going to be interesting and make you not seem like a random ass person who just wants an agent, put that in your email, and then make the email personal. So it's like hi. Sally, hi, Marquise, like whatever the agent's name is that you wish to correspond with. And then you just say, you know, um, I would love to meet with you um, to see if I fit your roster or whatever, whatever. So I emailed over 60 agents, guys. I emailed over 60 agents and I heard back from, guess how much? I heard back from three. So I emailed over 60 agents, heard back from three and... Um, Two of them didn't like me, but then the one that I've been with, 
um, since I moved out here, I'm still with them. They work for me like every day. I love them. Like they're so dope and they are former actors themselves. So they understand it. And, um, yeah, like I'm happy with my agents and, um, that's, that's it. Um, how long did it take me? Um, I started looking for an eight. I moved out here in April. I started looking for an agent in June and I got signed to my agency in August. So I was determined. I was not go like if I didn't hear from an agent, I wasn't upset or sad. That just made me be like, okay, keep, keep, um, submitting, keep submitting, keep, keep submitting, you know? And, and in the meantime, I was doing, um, table reads, um, with Lena Waith and I was, you know, going to going to like random things I would find on casting networks. That is how you are going to book extra work. <laughs> Excuse me, extra work is through castingnetworks.com. If you live on the East Coast, it's I think or even on the West Coast, whatever. It's ten dollars a month and you go to the office go to the website, castingnetworks.com, go to the office, um and you'll be able to like get your picture taken and then that's how you're able to self submit even though i have an agent i am always self submitting to projects that i think i would be good for or that would be fun for me to be on set of um one thing is when i moved to los angeles i said that i would not be doing any more extra work because i saw myself going to a higher level and i have not done any extra work and it has served me because I signed with my agency in august I think I booked my first job before that, before 2014 was over. And it's because I had clarity on the type of actor I was going to be, the type of work I was going to be. It's like, if I'm going to be here where they're shooting TV shows and movies, I'm booking TV shows and movies and like commercials. Like that's what I'm doing. New York was extra work. New York was like the foundation. And now I'm here and it's like, okay, like I'm putting the little stuff away. So have clarity with, with the type of actor you want to be like because some people just want to be professional extras and some people just want to be professional tv show people and some people want the just to be indie film actors you know so be specific about the type of work that you want to do so again go to your samuel french bookstore or your acting bookshop pick this up this is they they come out with this every year so whether you're on the east coast or the west coast pick it up Look for the agents that are connecting with what you want to do. Submit. It's okay to dream big, but do make the small steps. Don't be aggravated. Don't be upset if you're not like booking a major motion picture in your first, you know, year of pursuing acting. Or if you are, like kudos to you. But it is a wonderful journey and don't take any of it for granted. And every little thing that you book is progress and it's a process and um especially if you don't know nobody in the industry like me i don't know i didn't know anyone in the industry at all and i still have like little to no connections but i'm out here and i'm being submitted and i'm going to audition for like big movies and hit tv shows so um taking that leap of faith changed my life and put me back on the path that i Feel like i'm supposed to be on um anyway so if you have any more questions or if you want more acting excuse me acting uh videos let me know in the comments below and i thank you guys for tuning in and all my actors out there i wish you nothing but the best